How's it going guys? This is your boy LP with Lorenzo P Photography and I have some awesome awesome art and photography on my website. You can go check out my work by swinging over to LorenzoPPhotography.com. Now here goes the video that you all have been waiting patiently for. Drum roll please. Drum roll. No? Okay. Uh, just gonna get started, okay? This video is an update to what's in my bag. Uh, I posted a video approximately five years ago talking about the things that I had in my bag. I no longer own a bag now. I have a case. This is the Pelican 1510 case. Uh, I really love this case. Let's just talk about the transition. So uh, the first or the last bag that I own, the Cata Bumblebee 220 PL bag. It's a fantastic bag. Uh, it was very well built. I love all of the compartments. I loved everything about it. that bag was roughly $250. It was a fantastic bag. I love the build quality. It was very economical. It was just a great bag. The only problem was after a while, the weight of the bag or uh, from all of the gear started to wear on me and you know, going up and down the stairs or traveling to far places, it really ties you out. So I wanted to move uh, onto something that was a little little bit more mobile aside from being mobile I wanted something with a little more protection and security and the Pelican 1510 case offers those features it is weather sealed water resistant so when it's closed and it's tightly secure it can go through a splash or it can fall in the water and everything will be okay with your gear inside another feature that I really like is that it allows you to lock your case you can put on two locks I took off my lock for video purposes. So let's move along and open up this. Okay, so when you purchase the Pelican 1510 case, uh, it comes with a foam pad up here. Uh, I removed the foam pad and put in this net uh, to add additional compartments. I really love compartments because I'm able to tuck things away. You know, uh, I don't want everything in one big space. It gets crazy, it gets all messy. I love organizing and keeping things nice and neat. So, yes, I took out the padding and put this in. This is an additional $19. By the way, the uh, overall price for the Pelican case is $170 plus the additional $20 that you pay for the net. Let's move on. So, one of the cameras that I have is a 6D. I previously owned a 5D Mark II, but I sold it because I was no longer using it. I probably should have kept it, but I sold it. The other camera that I have is the 5D Mark III with the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens. This lens is by far my favorite, all time favorite lens to, to use. Uh, it literally is my workhorse lens. It stays on my camera almost 100% of the times. So I very rarely change my lens when I'm using the 5D Mark III. Uh, it also has a base plate on here. The reason why I keep the base plate on there because as it comes out my case, it literally goes right on to my tripod. And I'll show you what that looks like. Comes out my case, goes on here, and we're done. Also, what I have on the 5D Mark III is a battery grip. This is the Canon's version of the battery grip. I love this thing. It allows you to shoot vertically. So let's say, turn this around and drop it down. You can literally bring your eye in here. Let's turn my hat sideways and boom. So the battery grip allows you not only to shoot vertically, but it also uh, gives you an additional battery. So let's pull it out. I have two batteries there, as you guys can see. All right. Also, the two memory card slots. I have a compact flash and the SD. I really love this lens. I love this whole setup. The 5D Mark III with the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens. I can't say enough good things about this. Let's move this out of the way. So now that I covered the bodies, uh, the 6D and the Canon 5D Mark III, Let's move along to the glass. I already mentioned the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Like I said, it's one of my absolute all time favorite lens. The compression, the uh, aperture, f2.8. Uh, I just love everything about that lens. It is heavy, so that is one of the downsides to the lens. 
but overall you're going to get exceptional not only uh, photo quality but you're going to get exceptional video quality as well when you're using that lens let's move along my next hands down all-time favorite lens is the sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 art series lens this lens is hands down one of the best 50 millimeter lenses that i've ever used the build quality is exceptional the image quality is exceptional and the overall aesthetics it's just it's mind-blowing that you get all this in this little package uh, what I love doing, I'll give you guys a little hint. I love shooting at 1.4 with a neutral density filter on it. So as you can see, it looks black because the neutral density filter is there. This is an amazing combination. Not only is it a great lens overall, the sharpness is like spot on that is scary, even at 1.4. So even when you dial it at its low aperture, whatever that's in focus is going to be tack sharp and everything else is just going to look so creamy. It's going to look like it's falling off the image. And that's what I really love. So this is another one of my babies that I take pride in using almost all the time if i'm not using the 70 to 200 millimeter lens i'm probably using the 50. set that there my next lens this lens has been with me for since i started i brought this lens when i had my 5d mark ii it was the combo so this is the kit lens the 24 to 105. Uh, i see this lens being sold a lot i don't know why people sell it well i kind of do know why but i i held on to mine. i sold the first version picked up a second version and um, this lens is just a great lens the only downside is is that it doesn't go lower than f.4 Talk about an all-around purpose lens like for portraits landscapes you know this is probably the best lens that you can get you know it'll give you an overall great image quality you know it gives you a little range so it's kind of like a mini telephoto not really but it does give you some great range. It's really good for portraits. And like I said, it's great for landscapes. Uh, 24 millimeter to 105. The next lens that I have is the Canon 70 to 300 millimeter lens. What I love about this lens is that I don't love it. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm only playing. But uh, let's get into this lens. Uh, this lens has great range. Uh, it's super sharp. Downsides to it, it is a bit slow it's a tad bit slower i want to say like two tad bits slower than the 70 to 200 millimeter lens the positive side or the pros to this lens it's much lighter than the 70 to 200 millimeter lens and it gives you more range so it gives you a whole uh, 100 meter of of range opposed to 70 to 200 millimeter lens and once again it is sharp it is a great lens it's just a little slower i really love the range uh you can lock it uh they have two image stabilization modes uh, here. They got the stabilizer mode one and two, stabilizer on and off. They also got an autofocus and manual focus lens. Great lens, let's move along. Another lens I have is the uh, Minota, AKA Sequoia 28 millimeter lens. This is a vintage lens. This lens, this little guy right here, I think I paid about want to say 40 bucks for this lens believe it or not it is an amazing lens uh, I thought it was a little bit too dreamy for me because it gives kind of like the dreamy effect it's very soft but when it's focused it looks really good like the image qualities that I get from this lens is quite surprising for a lens that you only pay $40 it is a manual focus lens company with the photo deox MD to EOS converter so this converter uh, shout out the photo deox allows me to use this vintage lens on my Canon bodies diffusers uh, when I'm shooting parties I tend I, I only pretty much shoot parties when I'm hired to do the job but when I do use my flash which I have two 580 EX flashes here uh, as you can see one two it's tightly uh, packed into my bag I like to shoot with both both of the diffusers on the camera. It just really softens the light and it spreads out the light really, really well. So that's another thing I wanted to drop on you guys. So we just covered um, 
some hardware. We covered the camera. We covered the lenses. Now we're covering the flashes, but yeah, two 580EX uh, flashes that's uh, in that space. Also, I have two small A clamps. I love these things. These things are very convenient. I don't use them all the time, but you never know when you're in a pinch you're gonna need to. Things will come in handy. So try to keep you some A clamps. I also have a grid. This is for my flash. These are the Young Nuo YN622C uh, transceivers. I've been rocking with these things for an eternity and these things have held up. I don't have any problems with these things. They are very reasonable in price and it's just great quality, great product. Thank you Young Nuo for saving me a bunch of money. I did have the Pocket Wizards. I spent almost like $600 on it and believe it or not I did have some misfires with the with the triggers and it just was very costly to keep up with them one drop it didn't work anymore I had to replace it it was just way too much when I converted over to the Young Nuo I didn't have any issues hands down one of the best uh, transceivers out there on the market for a great price point also have the original joints too. These are the original joints. Alright. These are the Young Duos RF 603C. And uh, these are also transceivers. So they, they send and receive uh, information from the camera to the flash. Okay. And I did label them because at one point in time, I don't know what happened uh, when I would reverse these. One is the camera and one is the flash. When I would re reverse them, the communication was not working. I never had that problem before, but out of nowhere, it just started happening. So I labeled them just to keep me on point about, you know, when I when I use the transceiver. So I don't really use these. I pretty much use these guys. These guys took the place of these, but these things still work and they're still great, okay? I have some sync cords, as you can see, dangly, dangly, dangly. These are my lens hoods. This is for, and as you can see, they just drop right into each other. So that's the one thing that I love. Everything is like tightly compact, all right? Uh, this is for the 24 to 105 millimeter. This is for the uh, Sigma 50 millimeter. This guy is just sitting around. I just love having it because it's dope. Uh, shout out to M on Cheesy Cam who originally posted this. This is a rubberized um, lens hood. It can collapse. So that's what I love about this thing. And when you put it on your camera, it just kind of looks badass. I don't know why, but I, I love the look, how it looks when it's on your camera. So let's take a look. All right. Look at that. It's kind of badass, right? So yeah, I, I just like having it in my back. That's kind of why. Look at that. You see? Look at that. That looks really cool. So I kind of just like having this in my bag. I'll take this off. Right, collapse this. And into the last phase of the Pelican 1510 case. Uh, I love the compartments here. Like I said, this was an additional 20 bucks. It is well worth the money because it allows you to compartmentalize, compartmentalize. Somebody help me out here. Compartmentalize your uh, little necessities that you need. So let's break some of this down, right? We open up this first case. Um, it's just a Polaroid case, but it's actually a Photo Deox. Shout out to Photo Deox again, okay? I told you guys I use your products. This is hands down a dope ND filter for, you know, a great price. It is a 10-stop ND filter. When I'm using my Sigma 50 millimeter lens, I love the combination. The images are just, they're, they're beautiful. So. I love the combination with this. I pretty much only use this when I'm outdoors and I don't want to have a high shutter speed or you know a high aperture. I'll dial my aperture all the way low. I'll adjust this baby just the way I like it and then I get to shoot in. And the image quality is just always exceptional. And like I said, paired with the 50 millimeter art lens, very sharp, it's just creamy. It just makes your images look fantastic. So uh, we have the ND filter there. I have a card reader. I'll show you guys that. So this is my card reader. It has two SDs, some micro things that I don't use, and a compact flash. This is really important to me. It transfers rewrite speeds very high, very efficient, very effective. I love this thing. This is 
if you guys don't know what this is, this is from Square uh, to receive um, debit and credit card payments. Very convenient to have when you're on the go. Let's move down to the next one. This is a SanDisk card case. So all my cards go in here. All right, 64, 16, two, and then you can even hide some cards under. So I got a 32 there it's for my extra card. So got that, a few other cards here. Okay, let's move along. And also I have a coin, you know, for when I need to tighten something up. So that's convenient to have. Let's move along here. Front and rear cap. All right, pair of headphones, just in case if I'm doing video and I forgot to bring my headphones, these things definitely come in handy. These are Apple uh, headphones, by the way. Let's put this back. Another SIM cord. I normally have these things plugged up to my Young Newer Y, uh, my Young Newer transceivers. But the problem is, after a while, what I noticed, it started to bend. And you don't want to do that because you'll damage your SIM card and it won't be able to transfer the information. So just keep it out. Keep it, you know, in another compartment. When it's time to use it, just sync it all up. All right. Also, I have some rubber bands. These things are very convenient. You never know when you're in a pinch and you're going to need to tighten something or just wrap something around. Rubber bands uh, come in handy, at least in my line of work. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. So these are some base plates. I have two base plates here. These things go on to my Seru K40X ball head. I love that ball head, by the way. I did a review. You guys should check that out on my blog. Uh, I think you'll like it. Very well, very well machined ball head. It's just a great overall ball head for the price point. I love price points. Price points is very important to me. So this is the 501, uh, my, my photo uh, base plate. Like I said, these go on the K40X. And this one goes, this is a DP50. Um, I do have another tripod that I rarely use, but whenever I do use it, caught it. This little guy is always there, all right? For the last and final compartment, we're gonna wrap it up after this. All right, so here I have a fill up and a flathead screwdriver these things are always convenient you never know you just never know when you're gonna need something like a fill up or a screwdriver just to tighten things up so I have some roscoe uh showbiz gels i never really use these but it's great to have them. you never know when you may need them uh some cleaning solution that i never use i pretty much use a microfiber cloth that does a job when it comes to cleaning down and dusting off my lens uh, I have an Allen key, all right? Nice little shoe mount. A brush that I never really use. And I think this is the last, the last of it all. I have the horseshoe for the stroke. So you can sit it down on the floor. I never use these things, but once again, you never know when you're gonna need them great to have I just keep them in my pelican this wraps it up for what's in my bag aka what's in my pelican if you guys are considering moving from a bag to something more portable something more you know convenient as far as rolling I would highly recommend and suggest investing in something like the pelican 1510 case the price point is not that bad you have weather seal you have uh, maximum security as long as you put a lock on that thing but it's definitely worth the cost. It'll keep the weight off your bag. It's just very convenient. You can stand on it. You can sit on it. It's 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 good. It's good. Trust me when I tell you. Uh, since I converted over, I have not looked back. And that's when you know something good. When you move on and you don't look back. So this wraps it up for my review. I hope you guys enjoy. Once again, this is your boy LP with Little Rizzo P Photography. I'll link up all the things in the description below. So be sure to check in the description. And also, if you, any of you guys out there wondering about this amazing painting behind me, I'm going to link that up as well. Like I said, I'm an artist and photographer. So I'll link up that video so you can check out the Malcolm piece. And yeah, keep staying tuned. I love you guys. Thank you for the love and support. Peace.